This week's question is, what is third year of medical school like? And our tips. Well, we didn't have half of it. <laughs> um, yeah, our third year was a bit different because it got cut short because of COVID. So we lost about two or three months because of that. Mm. My third year was cut short because of COVID. Three quarters of the way through, we had to stop. But I think out of all the years, it was probably one of the most enjoyable years for me. Third year is pretty good, I think. I like third year as well. One of yeah. the be better years. I think third year was one of my favourite years. Potentially my favourite year. Really? I don't really remember third year that much. Yeah, I like it. I think it's really interesting. I like this year. This has probably been my favourite year so far. Third year is, I think, has been the best year of, of med school so far. It's really good. So you get to go see loads of things, go to different places, meet new people. I think third year was probably one of the best years. It's quite exciting. Like, in Liverpool, you, it's like your first proper year of placement. I really enjoyed third year, we were just yeah. on placement the whole time. It's not too intense, it's not like your final year where you have to know everything. It's really fun actually. Intense, I think. I think it's a massive step I up think, from yeah, first and second year. But manageable. I think it was my favourite year. Third year, I remember, was the year I did the musical. Yeah. So I, that was just really fun. Yeah. And also, it's the first year you're on placement all the time. It's a lot more clinical. You don't have the pressures of finals as well. Yeah. That's why I liked about it, because I knew like, I don't really have that many pressures for this year. Like, obviously, you have to do your clinical stuff and that, but um, you don't have the looming finals above you, do you know what I mean? That's why I, yeah. I liked about it. So but, you can um, actually like go to placement without that stress. You yeah. can actually go to all your clinics, your theatres, your ward rounds, without feeling like, oh no, I need to revise. So third year is a pretty good yeah. year on the whole. And you get to like go to a different hospital, see lots of all the different specialities. It's a bit like a taster year. It's kind of like the first entry of what it's truly like working as a doctor, I guess. Going to hospital constantly. It's the real first entry to a clinical world that you are going to be expected to be a part of. Like, it, like third year I thought was sick, like you feel like you actually like doing something, you don't feel like as much of a spare part on mm. wards and things like that. I think I learned the most in third yeah, year. Yeah, 100%. Like, and that's when everything started to click a bit in third year, like, you'd be on ward rounds and you could, like, start to understand yeah. a bit more. And it felt like, it felt good. Yeah, no, it did, yeah. A little bit of motivation. Yeah. I mean, I did sometimes feel like a bit of a spare part on third year, so if you ever feel like that, that's also okay. Yeah, yeah very true. Very true. <laughs> very true. <laughs> you sort of learn how to manage your time a bit better, mm. so you actually end up doing quite a lot more because mm. you're a bit more productive yeah, definitely. with the spare time, limited spare time you do have. Like, I find the lectures and all that quite hard work and quite boring, but when I got into placement, I was like, okay, yeah, this is, yeah. This is why I'm here, this is what I want to do. Although it is a, a step up again from second year naturally, but because you're learning about new things like obs and gynae and pe peds and you start doing those different specialties, it, it's still a lot enjoyable because of the fact that you're on placements and you're doing things hands on. And it's just more, you know, active learning. So you're not stuck behind a screen, you know, watching lectures or, or reading a textbook or something like that. It's, it's a lot more sort of talking to patients, seeing what they're going through and learning about the disease that way. You see stuff as well because you're not learning everything from a slideshow. You learn what you like. You learn what you like, you learn what you, you see. Yeah. Learn what you don't like. Yeah, different placements, very interesting. At the start it's a bit overwhelming I think, because... Yeah, you get you get into it, you don't know what you're doing, you feel kind of like irrelevant. Yeah. But you have to remember everyone who's working there has been that irrelevant person at some point. Yeah, and most people are quite receptive to that. I mean, doctors know what it's like. Yeah. Especially the younger ones. I was so nervous when asking doctors questions like, oh, I'm just wasting their time. But like the F1s, like, like they're so nice. Yeah. Best people in the world, F1s. Yeah, they are. Get on their good sides. Because oh, that's yeah. like, third year's like the base for your clinical knowledge, yeah. I feel like. Yeah, yeah. So then in fourth year, you're just going to build on what you learn in third year. So if you smash your third year, you're in pretty good stead for your finals. The people who did well in finals, are the people who did well in third year as well. Like that is your basic like of that yeah. knowledge. There's not that much more after third year, so mm. if you can do as best you can then that's a really good start. Maybe I slight third year because that's the best I ever did in my yeah, exam. Maybe <laughs> good memories. But yeah. Focus on yourself, I'd probably say. Focus on yourself. Like build build a good routine. Like, listen, that's a bit of 
focus on, I say third year, build a good routine for fourth year. Like, if you're gonna, if you've been saying to yourself, I'm gonna get into the gym and stuff, go do the gym, like go get into a gym routine or uh, go start learning how to cook and that. And then once you get into fourth year, it's a bit more clockwork and you can focus on your Four finals. That's it. what I mean. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Don't get lost in placement, in, like, not like physically lost. Like, I think it's the first time you're always there. Make sure you have a life outside of it. I got a job in my third year and it made everything so much better for me and like a lot more perspective. I think going to placement for the first time for such long hours, you can get really like caught up in it. Third year, I didn't like the, how far these placements were. Um, like, I was very, I'm very lucky to have a car, but I think if you don't have a car, it's quite difficult to get around. You know, it's not cheap to to travel to some of these places, especially the DGHs. Don't be embarrassed to ask for a lift. You know, someone's got to oh, be brave yeah. enough to put it in the group chat. If you don't have a car, and, <laughs> you do not want to public transport to some of those. I remember being so tired, having to get <laughs> up at six o'clock every morning, drive to Chester and have a full day placement and drive home and that was really tough it was like getting used to that but like you said mm. it's worth it when you're there okay so for third year you've got surgery rotations so you've got colorectal was one of mine breast surgery like orthopedics trauma so that's all really interesting and then you've got a bit of medicines which involves cardiology, respiratory, dermatology, endocrinology, infectious diseases and then gastroenterology. Four weeks of obstetrics um, and gynaecology, four weeks of paediatrics and then a GP rotation. So I feel like you get to see a lot, you get a bit of a, mm. you get a range definitely in third year, kind of start seeing what specialties you like, what things you don't like. <laughs> yeah to try like loads of different things as well like you realize that there's so many things out there and you barely scratch the surface as well and you kind of so. find out like whether you're more into medicine or more into mm. surgery i think i like medicine the most but that's because i've never been a big fan of surgery i watched um an orthopedics surgery and um i'm i felt a bit faint but squeamish squeamish yeah that's that's all right some people do some people don't that's how it is the people who you might not see in lectures you go to hospitals and you see them in the mess, you have lunch with them and you meet quite a few more people within your own year. It's a nice point to it. You meet loads of different people that you would never really have seen because of how the timetable went, which is really good and yeah, I've enjoyed that. The lucky thing was my group was so nice and we were all on the same level, like we know what things we wanted to do and we were all very hard working, we went and got what we wanted to do and we did it as a group and because we did it as a group like it sounds silly, but like when you approach a consultant, sometimes it can be a bit scary. But when you're all doing it together in a group, like it's so much easier. And we did all these little things together, and like we became like a little family. It was really nice. But yeah, yeah. I love my group. <laughs> She's like, <laughs> I love my group. Tips: Have a good rest and break before starting third year. It's intense, and you need to be well rested. If you have the energy for it, and if, if you feel up for it, I think revising for the placement that you're about to go on. Is, is invaluable, it's really good. It makes you appreciate things a bit better. It's a good idea to know what, like have a bit of a reading about what you're going into. Like if you're going into OBS and gynae, looking over them sort of conditions mm -hmm. is always a good idea because it can be a bit of a jump and a bit embarrassing whenever you're getting asked questions you don't know them, but it's always, everyone's there to help you and help you learn. So I think that's definitely be my tip to be prepared before you go. And if I could tell like my past self a tip, it's just, be more proactive on the ward mm. and ask questions. 100%. They don't expect you to know everything. Yeah. And in fact, they probably expect you to know very little of their tips. So get the most out of your clinical time. I feel like there are some main things that come up in each placement as well that you see like all the time. So I think maybe while you're on that placement and while you're doing it, like have a read around and maybe write some things down because so that when you come to your exams, you've got that to remind you because the best place to learn all the like what they do and how they manage it is to be with the doctors that are managing it all the time and you learn like what they actually do instead of just a like perfect textbook answer and so it's really helpful to have that for when you're revising at the end of the year. In terms of like our tips I'd say definitely make the most of placement because you're learning on the job like and that's just like I think that's the best way to learn because you're doing it pra and doing like practical work you're actually seeing what you're doing and you can and then apply scenarios so say if you're doing a case of like a patient with I don't know, Crohn's disease, then 
when you take that history, when, you, when it comes to actually revising or you have an exam, you'll be able to apply that question to that patient and then it will help you kind of like remember certain things and I guess it just, it's a better way, to, I found, for me, I guess it's a better way to learn than just looking out of a textbook or sitting in a lecture. They call it like, um, I think anchoring, so like it's when you have an experience that you can link to and just like go back to. Yeah. And it's like, so less of it becomes recall. I think there's people falling into the trap of learning stuff broke learning stuff and then you just forget it all after the exam but if you've gone to a patient you've taken a history or even taken an exam you'll know how to do it so if you're stuck in the exam you're like oh yeah like what did i do with that patient so yeah yeah that's, that's what i do it. anyway <laughs> i'd say my one tip is build a strong foundation mm. like all your big conditions copd asthma mi's learn those properly and you will be thanking yourself so much yeah. when you get to fourth year instead of having to relearn all that stuff so yeah, build that solid foundation and like you said, get into a good routine yeah. and you'll be sorted. My one tip for third year is to not forget about the OSCEs. I think for the whole year, if you can be on placements doing examinations for patients OSCE style and doing your histories from patients OSCE style, that's the best thing to do from day one. Just make sure like go and get a doctor to come and watch you. Not every time you do a history or examination, but at least once a week, make sure you're doing an examination that the doctor watches you for and tests you for as if you're in an OSCE. You will feel so comfortable by the time it comes to the OSCE because you, you're you used to being criticised on things by doctors. Really important. Um, my tip for third year would just be getting involved and don't be that guy who sits in the library doing his like notes all the time. Tip would definitely be get on the wards, get a bit of mm. practice in, do your exams, you know, your GI exams that you've forgotten in your row, you know, like properly just get involved, that's the best way to do it, I think. Yeah, my biggest tip for third year would be go to placements, do as much as you can, be hands-on. If you don't understand something, ask everyone's there to, to teach you and help you. I think it's important to sort of take initiative and you know learn as much as you can while on while you're on placements. Um, and also, what few really few people tend to do, like get involved and try and like act up as an F1 if you can. Um, the few times I've gone on the ward round and written the notes for the ward round or like I've gone with the F1 to speak to the labs or I've been on the phone to speak to someone and refer a patient. That is like the most invaluable kind of skill that you can ever learn and to learn those skills from third year onwards is like that's really good so I think those if you can try and do that if you've got the confidence to do it do it. The third year was my favourite out of the three. Yeah, I really mm -hmm. enjoyed it. I felt like I had a stable friendship group as well, yeah. which was nice. <laughs> Things all start falling into place like as the years, and it's, it's really nice. Much to celebrate as well because you like kind of halfway through your degree. Yeah, yeah that's so awesome. everyone's happy and chirpy, and yeah, it's nice.